population. Now, as our relationship with newspapers changes, obviously our relationship to newspaper comic strips changes, but that doesn't make the newspaper strip any less foundational and any less important to the history of American comics and popular culture. In fact, today's strip you probably know, maybe from the newspaper strip, but maybe from the massive amounts of merchandising, definitely from the TV shows. We're reading Charles Schultz's Peanuts. Charles Schultz was born November 26, 1922, and passed away February 12, 2000. All of you were alive in the period of time that he passed away. He grew up in St. Paul, Minnesota, although would eventually come to live in Santa Rosa, California. He served in World War II and enrolled in art correspondence after his discharge. It was after this art correspondence that he took his first job as a cartoonist. A series of one-panel cartoons called Lil Folks it was published in the St. Paul Pioneer Press from 1947 to 1950. Now it's clear that in Lil Folks, he was working out many of the ideas that he would use over and over again in Peanuts. It featured kids, generally children with wisdom beyond their years, and also happened to feature a little black and white eagle. The strip was popular enough that he was approached by United Features Syndicate to create a new strip in 1950. And as at this time, that Peanuts debuted. It appears first in seven newspapers on October 7th, 1950. And the first Sunday strip appears a year and a half later in January of 1952. At its height, Peanuts was printed in 2,600 newspapers in 75 countries in 21 different languages. The strip brought in roughly $1 billion of revenue a year with Schultz himself earning 30 to 40 million. It's inspired, of course, multiple TV specials, which many of you probably know, a theme park, and marketing across many companies. Schultz himself will say he didn't seek this kind of massive popularity, but when the opportunities came, he took them. The fact of the matter is, people love peanuts. Comic artists especially. I'm having you read Chris Ware's reflection on Schultz's importance to his own work to cartooning in general. Schultz only took one vacation in his whole career, five weeks off for his 75th birthday. It was the only time during the whole run in which there were repeats. He drew a total of 17,897 peanut strips over the course of his lifetime. He even did a couple of other comics on the side, but peanuts was his life's work. His family now runs the Charles Schultz Museum and Research Center in Santa Rosa, California. You can go and see original drawings of Peanuts and learn more about the impact that Peanuts has had on our society there. I recommend you check out the link I've posted to Charlie Rolls' interview with Charles Schultz. It's really charming. Not only do you get to hear a lot about what Schultz thinks of comics and where they're going and what makes his work interesting, but you really do get a sense of what kind of guy he was. Next time, we'll put the paper down and pick up a comic book. It's the birth of superheroes in the golden age of comics.